In this guide, we'll be discussing the differences between Drive C on your computer and Google Drive on a high level. You might also want to check out my Getting Started with Google Drive series. I'll leave a link to the video in the description. Just like in Drive C, in Google Drive you can store all your file types. But in Google Drive, only the owner of a file can delete them. Whatever account you're signed into in Google Drive and upload becomes the owner. You can transfer ownership of files as long as they are part of your domain or organization. When signed in to your Google account, you'll see all your files in Google Drive wherever you are. Because everything in Drive is in sync between computers and mobile devices, whatever file you delete or change in Google Drive will delete or change on all the other devices. This makes your computer a stateless tool that allows you to work on any other machine or both. Although Drive C can be shared to external people or groups, a lot of configuration is required to perform these processes, and a technician might have to set up the sharing settings. In Google Drive, the owner of the file is responsible to share with people in your organization, a Google group, and external collaborators, and it's much easier to do. In the past, you might have had a 25 meg megabyte limit to emailing files and a chain letter of revisions, or you put them on a USB drive, which would often get lost. In Google Drive, you have four levels of access. View only, edit access, comment, or owner, and the ability to transfer the owner's files. In Drive C, everything is private, but in Google Drive, you have six ways to control the visibility to any one of your files. Specific people or a group in a Google group, which will share and remove sharing when they are a part of the group or not. You can set access to anyone with a link, the ability to view the file, or anyone in your domain with a link that is not searchable. You can also do a searchable in your domain from My Drive. Public on the web will get your file found in search engines and there's new sharing permissions with expiration dates to sharing. In Drive C, searching for files can be a timely process with basic search capability you had to know either part of the file name or the location to shorten the search time. You were dependent on systems hard drive and processor speeds. With Google Drive, your other computer is a data center with one of the leading search engines helping you find the file that you need. You can search in Google Drive by file type, ownership, opens with, domain only, dates modified, or contains words in the file name or even inside the file. And you can search files by who you shared it with. You can sort files much like Drive C inside folders, giving you the ability to sort by name, date last modified, date last edited by me, or date last opened by me. Although there are options for tracking versions and changes with files, some setup is required and you can only perform those functions locally on the computer system. In Google Drive, you can manage versions of your files and monitor them in the activity stream. Going Google often has concerns of being offline. In Drive C, all of your, pro all of your files are available offline when there is no internet. In Google Drive, you can pin files you want in offline mode on mobile devices, or you can use the Google Drive Backup and Sync utility for Mac or PC, which will allow you to down some of your download some of your folders from Google Drive or all of them. And with Chrome browsers, you can turn on offline mode that will keep the most recent files offline. In both cases, Deleted files move to the recycle bin, or trash in Google Drive, and consume storage space until you empty it. In the case of 
Google Trash, all files are deleted from all devices in one trash. It's also important to note here that native Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides don't count toward your storage space.